we're just trying to figure out what we're going to do. We got to talk about what we're going to talk about today, right? So many questions on the line. You know, me and my have been together already since 2019. We got a whole bunch of homies and stuff that been like, you know, because we know they came from the machine. So we got a lot of um, women in that fight. Our magazine for their husbands and their men. Sometimes they talk to my idea or they go on these new chats or these white chats or these Facebook chats. And there's a lot of questions they be asking. So we're going to some questions that we think about, um, you know, crazy relationships. Like a lot of women were asking these, these questions. And we're like, well, how about we just do a podcast about it and everybody get feedback and comment? So this, this is how we got to the And so we're going to go down there with a couple questions that Marty read. Bob Marty's going to read out. We're just gonna, you know, read some of the um, some of the um advice people give and some of the questions. We're gonna give our little two cents. We hope y'all enjoy the show. So, uh, yeah. come on with it. All right. So, well, I started off asking, okay, would you tolerate your man to get visits from another woman who he claims to be his they're just friends, right? So, yeah. so um, some of the comments were like, he's like, if they've been in his life before I came along, I wouldn't. I have an issue with it. Visits are a major part in rehabilitation, right? That was one. And somebody said, fuck no. Somebody said, hell no. Um, let's see what no man would he do it if he was out of jail. And then um, somebody wrote, nope. And somebody put, nope. My husband, the, the fuck I not. I would, somebody wrote, it would better be me. No, it said, my bad. I don't know why I can't read right now. <laughs> I said it would bother me. I would forbid forbid him to give her even a single kiss kiss on the cheek or touch her hand. But I trust him, so I would allow it. What? Obviously, I know. Like, obviously, only if she had been a friend for many years. Hell no. That's a no. So the question is, we need to get Would you allow your man to get a visit? From another woman, if he says uh, um, that he says that his his home girl or friend or whatever, they're just friends or the friends. Mm -hmm. So would you allow your man while he's in prison to get visit from another woman, or one black friend? Oh, hell yeah, no, no. Right? I mean, I said. So, so you won't let me get all the first again. Would you let me get visit from other women? No. Okay, what if they just home girl? It don't matter. Can I go okay, hang out well, with my homeboys? No, I'm, okay, but it don't matter. Like we don't, ha you don't have one, so that's relevant. <laughs> uh, uh, all right, so I mean, my, my thing. So mm -hmm. if, 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 if you allow women. Okay, so you trust me, you love me, you say, you know what I'm saying, you have to have you be forever. So, if you allow women to come visit me, this is me speaking. So, if you allow women, other women to come visit me, that are friends, you know, they've been talking to women to even meet new friends. So, basically, right. you're saying you're okay with it? Because that was like, it's not, that's like not a straightforward answer. You're just getting like, what? what? No, no, no. You gotta understand who are they writing and what they're writing about. I think that's bullshit. It's just an excuse. It's different. No, different. Okay, but okay, okay, okay. But what about talking to somebody on the phone all the time? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? And all of a sudden, you're gonna, you're, you know, you, you think that, you know, don't you think? The people are gonna get a little too comfortable after talking with each other for you know, like on a regular basis type of thing on the phone on the phone, and you know what I'm saying, like. Yeah, but that's, I mean, that's on another tip, though. You know what I mean? Uh, 
No, no, no. The point is, you're the one who wanted the, the wanted me to have this alliance, open lines of communication. Should you put me on the spot? Okay, but I'm not doing that with you, though. That's the thing. I'm like, you're just because you letting me do it doesn't mean I'm gonna let you do that shit. So you can't come around and be like, oh, well, I'm letting you do this and this and that. So it don't matter. That's a, that's on you, though. I'm not letting you do that shit. Yeah, you're not letting. You're not letting me talk to a friend. I mean, you don't trust me. No, it's not that. Just I don't trust them. What is it? You don't trust them. So if you don't trust. Me, I don't. You. They know you. Mean, they don't know me, though. That's the thing. You okay, know what I'm saying? Okay, but that's what I'm saying. So you don't trust me, Taylor. You're saying you don't trust me. Let me tell you why. If you don't trust. You don't trust me, that because if you got a line, that means you don't trust me to stop it. Well, I mean, it's like me saying you're okay with me talking to my homeboys, right? And be like, oh, hey, we're chopping it up. One, and then yeah. next thing you know, be like, well, let's link up and we can hang out and have some coffee and talk about it. Okay. Okay. But don't you think if somebody wants to link up with me already, he they got other intentions? You know what I'm saying? To no. Because they're trying to link up. Okay. So then why wouldn't you, what, why wouldn't it be okay for me to go link up with my homeboy and have a coffee and talk about it? That's all good. So this is why you don't do it when your man's not around. It's why you, when your not around, you don't want to be socializing with other men on the on person and stuff like that. Unless you're in a, uh, uh, a group you're surrounded with a lot of people where people can see you You know what I'm saying? But I don't want y'all, but still, you shouldn't be thinking up with me all the time. That don't even look good. Here we go. All right. No, I'm not. I'm, no, I'm not saying it's cool. I'm just saying, I'm just saying how one thing can lead to another. If you over there having a, you're calling your homegirl off the blue phone, right? Because yeah. I'm not available, I'm busy or I'm at work, and then let's have my work all day, but she don't work or she's busy. She's not. A, she's available to talk to you all day. Don't you think eventually yeah. you, don't, you might be like have catch some sort of feelings just talking to her all the time? Okay, but okay, but I'm okay. That's that's what I'm telling you. Okay, that's what I'm saying too. Ain't nothing wrong with just chopping out with my homeboy, right? Like we're just talking. Yeah. The problem yeah. becomes that like, when you get so used to talking to them all the time, that then you, you feel yeah. you start people start to feel some type of way because you know you start talking to them or whatever. You start feeling some type of way, then you need to shut that shit down. Okay. All right. Well, there ain't nothing hard about that. But I'm just saying, why will you even get into involved in a situation like that? You know what I'm saying? Where you got to cut off your homegirl now for good, for good. Because now she already stepped the boundaries where you don't, you know what I'm saying? You're not even have the friendship anymore. Because yeah, of the I mean, it's, it's only a situation that you don't have no control. You turn yourself around another person that goes to your homework and you was never your homework from the get go. Well, that's what I'm telling you. That's what I'm telling you. Yeah. 
my sermon tells you to tell me what happened and to, to check that fool. To, to park that shit, check him, and tell me off the rip. Don't wait four or five days trying to figure out if I don't want to fuck up your relationship. No, no, no. He fucked up the relationship when he made that crack that line and you need to, and I'm trusting you to tell me about it as soon as it happens and park that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's all I'm saying. So I believe in testing people. I've always been like that for a long time. Being who I am, I like to test you. You tell me about that life, I'm going to test you about that life. So, you say you know how to fight, well, I'm going to test you know how to fight. Okay? We test the people, that's my yeah, Brian, why are you bringing me to the dog? No, who you trust by your side? The only way to trust me by the side is what? Put money around them, put your women around them, put your man around them, put something that's really, really precious and valuable to you around them to see how they act around it. They can act good about my money or my women or my property, then they're no good for me. I don't need them around my circle. But I can't just take anybody's word for it. You can't just take somebody's word without testing. Mm, why? Cut off. But I'm not just going to just set somebody off and the whole time they were down low by my side and I don't trust them. And I trust is earned. And the only way they can earn that is what? You got to test them. Put them to work. See what the, how they have their response. So, mm. so that was one of the questions. When you met your mind, so I keep looking for that. That was, um, one thing I want to tell y'all is this, man. So, I want y'all to know that just because your man is locked up, and I talk about this all the time, we get into all the time, we go back and forth about this, right? Mm -hmm. Right now she's looking for some posts, so why she's looking for the posts oh, I'm yeah. talking to y'all? Well, one time, I mean, uh, so just because your man is locked up, I don't care if he's doing one year or a hundred years, he got to say, just because he's locked up doesn't mean that the rules don't apply to y'all. Like what? other women for financial purposes is not okay and then bragging about it publicly not here on this page you know you get blocked out for that you know what i mean so what do you think about that about what do you got to say about that you know what i mean somebody wrote that's so bummy those are the ones with the most issues you know what i mean other women other women for money yeah okay so and you and it Somebody put laughing. Okay. Somebody put laughing my ass off. How can they be okay with that? That's a for a fact a red flag for a man. They will be bums when they get out. Agreed. You know what I'm saying? It's like I don't know why they think that's okay because you know real men don't do that shit. Somebody else put. I can't even imagine anyone being okay with anyone being used. Wow, crazy. Why in God? Somebody else wrote. Why in God's name would anyone, anybody think that that was cute? It's karma and it will come back on them tenfold. Mm, that's true. Karma is real. Um, all right. Somebody put real sad, real sad, preach it, you know. And then, um, you know, I missed the T. Somebody missed the T. Somebody put, this is kind of a long one, but let's see what she, what she talking about. He said, listen, I'm just here to be honest. Some women do it constantly. And they not stupid. They know they being used. It's why they do it. Some women pay for it because they are lonely and get. And I get it. It's not okay to intentionally use someone though. It's not okay to abuse a situation where someone is willing to give you all you want, whether incarcerated or not. 
but it happens every single day. Yeah, people are always using people, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I mean, I don't know, I guess. Why would I be using AK? Like, I ain't got no reason to be using him. Does he have a reason to use me? Maybe. So, um, but anyways, uh, he's getting counted right now. We're trying to figure out um, what he got to say about this because I don't know if he actually burned off because he's getting counted or what, but. No, but we're talking about the ones that use women, though. I mean, that's like that's that slick shit you th I'm talking about. How the fuck you're not gonna tell me something if I don't ask the right question? So. You just put me on game I'm like, well, shit, he didn't even ask me that, so I ain't got to disclose that information. But I'm not going to lie to you if you ask me the right question. Every time I'm going to click, there's certain stuff, y'all, these, 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 and these. You can check those profiles, and you check every other profile you can find. And then you ask him about the number two. You ask him about social media. What social media are you on? I'm on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, whatever. And you go check those out. Maybe they got and then you start looking for all these kinds of shit. Go on their Facebook and their Instagram and look at their friend contacts and go to those friend contacts and find out there and see if they got the other man that needs your man and his other. That sounds and like a lot of work. That sounds like a lot of unnecessary as work. You know they're using you or running game on you. Oh, okay. If you just want to, you just want to just let them just take the word for it and they're showing it. And they don't even sound good, so I'm just going to take it to the dude. Everything's gonna be perfect. Yeah, no, you gotta make sure you gotta test your man. I believe that's just my women. So you need to test your man. Okay. What um so what tests have you put me through that I've passed so far? I well, like I said, that was um pretty deep. <laughs> You know, we touch a lot of little, a lot of little things, but hey, y'all go follow us on the social media platforms. Make sure you subscribe, tell your people to subscribe, and um, y'all know what it is, man. We came for life. For real. We down stayed on, move around. I came for life. Y'all know what's up. Y'all know what's up, man. We came for life. Hey, y'all know what's up, man. Is that AKM music, man?